Good evening. I'm Sonia Burke coming to you live from the studios of Montgomery Community Media where we're covering primary election day in Montgomery County. The polls are open for about 90 more minutes. So if you haven't voted, head to your precinct now. The polls will close at 8 p.m. Turnout in this June primary election appears to be low. There were few lines reported at polling places this morning. During early voting, over 18,870 Montgomery County voters cast their ballots at one of nine designated early voting centers the week of June 12th through the 19th. Before early voting began, we asked the candidates running for the Office of County Executive whether they plan to vote early or not. Here's what they said. Maybe. Maybe. That's a good idea. I haven't done it before because I like the excitement of Election Day. There's something about Election Day that's exciting, but I'll give it some thought. Yes, I do, actually. I'm, I am going to vote early um, uh, as a way to campaign and as a way to make sure that I, I get my uh, uh, vote counted. So uh, I, I, will, uh, I will vote early. I'm not sure yet. I have some suspicions about that. I've never voted early. Never voted early, so I don't plan to start this time. Gotcha. I urge people to have some challenges that they do, in fact, vote early. I, it's just my suspicion. Very and good. so I vote on the voting day. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to be talking to a lot of people at the polls, and I certainly will be around here on June 24th. So uh, there are lots of opportunities for people to vote early. Uh, I'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I'll certainly be at the polls quite a bit uh, starting on June 12th. As for those early voting results, the polls close at 8 p.m. tonight, and the first batch of results we will receive will be from early voting. Michael Bruin joins us now live from the Board of Election Offices in Gaithersburg with details about when we can expect those results. Michael? Hi, Sonia. Well, we are here live at the BOE, and I did have a chance to talk to Margie Rohr. She's a little busy until 8 o'clock, but she will be on later with us. But what I learned was that all of the um, early voting machines and information is kept secure until today. And then starting this afternoon, they're able to count all of those votes. So when we get to 8, 15, 830, Margie thinks that we'll be getting that first round of results, which will be primarily the early voting numbers. And then after that, she's thinking maybe 915 before we'll get a, like the next substantial amount. What happens is many of the polling places will actually get on a modem, send their information as soon as the polling, polling place is closed, then they have to bring all of the machines here and then they do a verification with the memory cards. So we're assuming about 8.15, 8.30 that we'll get the first results for you. Very good, Michael. Live from the BOE, back to you. Michael, if you can stay with me, I had one more question about voter turnout. What, what, what are you hearing there about today's turnout? Well, uh, I was talking to Margie about that. I actually got some interesting information. They're pretty positive about the early voting, but uh, it depended on the precinct today. And of course, they had that little bit of a, a problem this morning. But we have, I did a little research, and we have 632,000 registered voters. And in 2010, we had an 18.3% turnout. And then two years ago for the pre presidential, it was only 14.8. So. Uh, I don't know about those numbers, but apparently the early voting was uh, seemed to be a great success. Very good, thank you. And that problem you were talking about, that was only in the Bethesda precincts, is that correct? My understanding, it was within nine precincts, but that they could do provisional, provisional votes immediately. And the only other thing that Margie did put out a press release, letting people know that the polls are open until 8 o'clock. If you have to work late, if you were unable to do it this morning, if you are in line at 8 o'clock, you are allowed to vote. So just if you still would like to do that, just make sure you're in line by 8 p.m. That's great information. Thank you, Michael. We'll check back with you right, right. after the polls close at 8 p.m. Our coverage of primary election day in Montgomery County is just getting started. Join me in less than 25 minutes for the next Vote 2014 update and later at 8 p.m. when Susan Kennedy joins me for our extended coverage. You can also follow our coverage on the MyMC Media website and on Twitter at MyMC Media. I'm Sonia Burke. Thank you for watching.